Jim is a 16-year-old varsity pitcher. Unlike many of his teammates, he hadn't played on a select team, but has been showing signs of becoming a very powerful player as his body grew taller and stronger over the last summer. Now, Jim loves baseball and wants to take a shot at landing a college scholarship. His coach thinks he's got a good chance. He's always first to show up at practice and the last to leave, and he soaks up every bit of advice his pitching coach offers him. His catcher says he's never had a pitcher who was so intense and focused while throwing fireballs up to 80, 88 miles an hour in practice, that is. Which brings us to Jim's problem. See, at game time, he seems okay until that first time he walks a batter or gives up a home run. After that, he gets flustered and he loses his focus. Now, when he's doing well, all he sees is the catcher and his glove, and he doesn't hear a thing. But when he messes up, he hears the fans and the other players' voices inside his head, questioning his every move, and then he starts beating himself up. He can't help but see his coach's disappointed face over there on the, on the side and the worried look of his teammates, and, and that just continues his downward spiral into performance anxiety. Does this sound familiar? Have you or your athletes experienced loss of focus and, and, and performance? problems after a screw-up or a mistake? So how do you get yourself back on track? What Jim needs is a pattern interrupt or a mantra to refocus himself to the task at hand. What most people forgot is that in the present moment there is no fear. Unless, unless of course we're talking about physical danger, you know, like facing a grizzly bear. Now fear in sports is something that we create by thinking of our past mistakes or ones we'll make in the future. So the way to eliminate performance anxiety, which is nothing more than fear, is to get back to the present moment. Have you ever seen the movie For Love of the Game starring Kevin Costner? There's a scene where the pitcher gets himself in the zone by saying the words, clear the mechanism. Now this could help, but we can do much better for Jim and your athlete. What would be even more powerful is if Jim had a phrase or a statement that is directly related to the action of pitching the ball. He could repeat that phrase to himself to refocus his mind and bring himself back to the present. Some examples could be push off the mound, full extension, or crack the whip and release, or just put the ball in the catcher's mitt. And these are very simple and serve to occupy the mind so it doesn't have time or space to think about the things that cause that fear and anxiety. Now here's the key to making this work for you. Use it in practice as well as at game time. Don't wait till you're losing it out there in the middle of competition. You can also practice using this technique in your mind as you go to sleep at night. Imagine you're bringing yourself back to the present in stressful situations. By the time your next game or your event rolls around, your mantra will be like an old friend you can count on. It'll get you back to playing your game like a champion. This works. Do it. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.